Now, with the anger and outrage that has come as a result of the revelation last week of what Hulk Hogan said about his daughter dating a black man in a sex tape from a few years ago where he was banging his best friend's wife, that kind of gives you some insight into Hulk Hogan, the man, and especially where he was at that period of time. A lot of people were angry, upset, and disappointed in what he said and him as a man, and you can most certainly count me in that list. But an interesting thing has developed as a part of it, and I most certainly have been a part of this as well. It's talking about the hypocrisy of the WWE in this matter. They are releasing statements talking about how they're for equality and they believe in opportunities for all and trying to distance themselves from Hogan, basically giving him the Benoit treatment for lack of a better phrase. Yet all the while, racism is the WWE's history. Racism is the WWE's current reality. And frankly, based off of all the evidence of 50 plus years we have to support it, it will continue to be the company's future going forward. So a lot of people like myself, many others as well, have accurately pointed this out, talking about how the WWE is turning their back on somebody that's meant so much to that company for so many years, yet all the while, the people at the top of that company share the same type of viewpoints and demonstrate those viewpoints in the ways they treat their non-white talents throughout the course of the history of the company and continue to do so to this modern day and, again, will going forward. And a lot of people have turned to the clip, and I know I briefly referenced it and mentioned it in a previous video on this topic, of Vince McMahon back, I believe it was, what, Survivor Series 2005, was it? Where Vince walks up to John Cena and said, keep it up, ah, you get the point. And a lot of people, including Hulk Hogan, have gravitated to this as an example of WWE's hypocrisy, of Vince McMahon's hypocrisy. Who the hell are they to sit there on their mountaintop and to look down at anybody else when it comes on this issue? Because if you're grading the WWF on this issue, they get a Z, not an F, a freaking Z, period, exclamation point. They do. And a lot of people gravitated to this and grabbed onto this and latched onto this. And the WWE's response about this most certainly wasn't very helpful, in my view. It was a bad statement, talking about people knew this was an outlandish, satirical skit. So you're saying the N-word is satire. In no way, shape, or form is it a good idea for your 60-plus-year-old CEO and chairman of the board to utilize satire via the N-word. You can get into the semantics of the A or the ER ending, but when we get to that point, either way, you're a fucking moron. I don't care how much you try to spin it. I don't care how much you try to twist it and you try to sit there and split hairs and say, this means this and this means that. It still comes from the same motherfucking root word. It's still ridiculous. And it's a joke that it's even a part of the English language to this day and that people continue to use it. It is. But what's really disappointing me in this is that while people are taking note of the WWE and their hypocrisy on this issue, and that's good, and in some ways it has started a bit of a dialogue at least about the WWE and their racism, and again, that's necessary and that's good. People are grabbing onto, in my opinion, the wrong item to ultimately expose the WWE and their hypocrisy in their treatment of Hulk Hogan. Look, if they wanted to do what they did with Hulk Hogan, so be it. I don't agree with it all the way by any stretch of the imagination. You can suspend him. You can maybe fire him. But to the point where you're trying to erase him as if he doesn't exist, now we're getting a bit extreme. Now we're getting a bit ridiculous. Especially when we see other clear-cut examples of where the standard isn't the same. And for all the people that are talking about Vince McMahon and what he once said on television, and even, frankly, the company's history of how they treat their non-white performers over the years, I think I'm one of the few people that, I believe anyways, is actually bringing up the most clear-cut and obvious case of hypocrisy when it comes to the WWE and this issue. And that, of course, is Donald J. freaking Trump. Now, what Hulk Hogan said was horrible. It was bad. It was dumb. It was ignorant. Period. No other way to spin it. And a lot of the shit that's a result of this, he deserves. You made your bed, now you have to lie in it. When you say those types of things, those chickens can come home to roost and you have to know that. 
So in a lot of ways, a lot of the crap that Hogan's getting and a lot of the stuff that's happened, he deserves. He deserves exactly what he's gotten. But I sit there and say, if Hulk Hogan is a racist, then what the fuck does that make Donald Trump? And if Hulk Hogan is basically being blacklisted, or Ben Wad, out of the WWE in their history, then why the hell is Donald Trump featured so prominently on the WWE.com freaking website? You put in a search for Hulk Hogan on the website, it pulls up everything and anything not pertaining to Hulk Hogan. You go pull up the WWE website, type Donald Trump into the search, and there's all these videos and clips of Donald Trump. You go to their Hall of Fame page, there's no Hulk Hogan underage, but there most certainly is a Donald Trump under the D's. And what that means is basically, in this particular case, I'm sorry. I don't want to make Hogan the victim here because, again, he deserved a lot of what happened to him. He deserves the backlash because what he said was ridiculous and horrible. But he's kind of getting the D here. Who's more racist? Hogan for what he said or the guy in Donald Trump who was sued not once but twice in the 1970s by the Department of Justice for discriminating against black tenants in Trump Plaza residences, whatever the fuck you want to call them, it doesn't matter. He was sued not once, but twice. He was sued once, the federal government basically told him to stop this shit, stop creating separate rules for black tenants compared to white tenants. They said, okay. So two years later, they kept doing this shit, they never stopped doing this shit, and they got sued a second time for racial discrimination. Twice in a two-year stretch. This is the same Donald Trump that I believe it was in the late 80s took out newspaper ads about the Central Park Five. If you don't know the Central Park Five, it was basically uh, five young black males were accused of a crime. They went to jail. They ultimately were exonerated via DNA. But it was Donald Trump that was taking out full-page ads in the paper talking about this and talking about that and basically using it as a way to spread his hate speech. It was. You even go back to his autobiography, Trump, where the writer is talking about how Donald Trump once referred to laziness as being a trait of blacks, a very common trait at that. When asked and questioned about uh, his view on maybe black accountants, he said he wants Jews, not blacks, counting his money, especially because laziness was a trait among blacks. This is Donald Trump's words, mind you. And then when interviewed about it in the mid-90s in reference to this book and some of the things that are said, Donald Trump basically says, yeah, most of the stuff in there are probably true, was true. I mean, he basically fucking copied to it and admitting to it. The same guy that was one of the faces of the Obama birth of freaking movement, yet all of a sudden when it comes to Ted Cruz in similar circumstances, we are eerily quiet. Now, why the hell was whether or not Barack Obama born in the United States but such a big issue? Could it have been because his dad was a black Kenyan man? Anybody? Anybody? And Donald Trump was the face of this ridiculous freaking movement. Yet again, eerily silent when it comes to Ted freaking Cruz. This is the same Donald Trump, mind you, that basically earlier this year tweeted about how Barack Obama was failing in his leadership when it came to the protesters in Baltimore and inferring that basically it was Obama's fault that the protesters were acting the way they were in freaking Baltimore. And then to top it all off, this Donald Trump, the one, mind you, that is the ideal perfect candidate for the modern GOP. He is the standard bearer of so many things that the Republican Party nowadays stands for. Sat there recently and said about illegal immigrants that we're not getting the best. We're getting people that bring drugs. They bring crime. They're rapists. Now, maybe some of them are good, I'll assume, but most of them are not. Which is, to me... An ignorant-ass statement, if there ever has been an ignorant-ass statement. So you're going to say for every one person that crosses the border and commits crime, could there be 5, 10, 15, 20 that maybe feel like they have no other option, no other opportunity, they see a pathway to a better life and they choose to take that? Does that make them criminals? Well, in the sense of violating immigration laws, yes. But are they sitting there and all going out and freaking shooting up people and robbing people and selling drugs and raping women? No, I don't fucking think so. If what Hulk Hogan said was racist, then what the fuck is what Donald Trump said about immigrants? What is that? That's racist to me many times over even what Hulk Hogan's horrible shit was. Especially when you take into account Donald Trump's history. Going back to the freaking 70s, we have 
four decades, we're not even throwing in the sexist shit, we have four decades of documented evidence, most of which hasn't even been denied by Donald Trump, in fact has been confirmed by Donald Trump, that he is a freaking racist, that he doesn't like blacks, he doesn't like Hispanics, yet this guy is featured all over WWE.com, go in, type the search yourself and see what it says. You can find page after page of Trump videos. There's his profile and his pic on the Hall of Fame section. But we're going to yank Hulk Hogan? We're going to remove Hulk Hogan? What the fuck's up with that, brother? If Hulk Hogan's a racist, then what the hell is Donald Trump? And it's one thing with Hogan, a guy who frankly is 20 plus years past his prime, whose relevance is re is relegated to whenever the WWE would try to trot him out for some type of thing. On the flip side, you've got Donald Trump, who is garnering and dominating national political news and headlines on a day-in, week-out fucking basis, continuing to spew racist, vile, hatred crap. But we're going to ostracize and shun Hulk Hogan and embrace Donald Trump. Why? Because Donald Trump is one of Vince's buds? I realize Hogan and Vince have always had a bit of a testy relationship to a degree. But at the end of the day, and I'm just saying, I'm not saying what Hogan did was good, because obviously I most certainly don't think that. But when I look at the entirety of the body of work, Donald Trump is worse, much, much worse, because there is more of a history and a reputation for doing this type of crap. If I'm going to sit there and side with anybody, I'm going to side with the guy that made me hundreds of millions of dollars and helped make me the fucking close to billionaire that I am and made the company what it fucking is today. Not some fucking billionaire butt buddy that I brought on to WrestleMania 23 and did some stupid raw takeover fucking angle with. It's one thing to try and eliminate Hulk Hogan from history. I think it's an overreaction. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Again, especially looking at the WWE's history on race. It ain't good. Like I said, if there was a letter grade you could give him worse than a Z, then that's what the fuck you should give him. But if Hulk Hogan deserves this treatment, why the hell doesn't Donald Trump? And where's the anger and the outrage over Donald Trump basically skating off? Where is the... Freaking anger and outrage at the WWE for the clear-cut hypocrisy and double standards. If you care that much about equality, if you care that much about blacks, Hispanics, Asians, and anybody basically that's not just white, then you should distance yourself in any way, shape, or form from Donald Trump and his hateful ways. And you should be removing him from the WWE set. You should be yanking his picture off of the Hall of Fame page just like you did Hulk Hogan. People want to get mad about Vince and what he said on TV 10 years ago. And yeah, I know I talked about it. But you're missing the point. You're missing the bigger picture. The ultimate example of hypocrisy of the WWE on this issue with Hulk Hogan is staring you right in the freaking face. Bad looking hair and all. The fact that Donald J. Trump is still prominently featured and mentioned all over WWE.com is sickening. If you want to be outraged at anything of the WWE when it comes to hypocrisy and double standards, this is it. Hey, WWE, when are you going to blacklist Donald Trump? Don't you think he deserves it next?